Hi, I'm Jessa. And I'm Alex. And this is Jessa and Alex Watch. Shadow and Bone, season one, episode six. The heart is an arrow. So last episode, we had quite a reaction. We had big feelings. Uh, Huge, huge feelings. (laughs) I may have watched our reaction multiple times because it was so funny to me. You were utter messes. I think that goes without saying. Just truly, truly a mess. Yeah. yeah. Other separated. So like, what are we supposed to be watching? What am I engaged in here? (sighs) Alina's in a trunk. The kids are driving her away without realizing it. Except for Jesper knows. So why won't he say anything? That's... (laughs) He's enjoying being mysterious, I think. Oh, good for Jespa. (laughs) Um, Yeah, so this is definitely like a a real shift in the season. So you probably can't really necessarily... I can't predict anything. I can't give a list of what I want to happen. I'm just, I guess, along for the ride today. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's an exciting place to be. Shall we jump in? Let's do it. You know, in like supernatural shows when you're like a demon or a vampire that's feeding and you have totally black eyes this man has naturally totally black eyes and it works works. (laughs) i'm an entertainer Uh uh-oh rut row yeah so maybe we shouldn't have done our little scarification brag Not. You smuggle Grisha out of my palace! He's unleashed. With Grisha. Bye. I don't need him to tell me. Fuck off, Ivan! Nina Zenik. Ring any bells? Chew on those words. It's really dangerous to borrow from Alan Rickman when you look like that, okay? It's like teary eyes. Wow. How dare. I have control of myself. (laughs) Mr. Vissa. (laughs) Played at being assassin. That's right. Oh boy. Howdy, howdy, howdy ho. Kill her. So. Look at his face. I don't think you should have admitted that. He's gonna kill you so dead. Welcome to the shadows. Tell me how I can help. You already have. That did not seem pleasant. Nope. Look at our little side screen over here. I know. Look at her go. <laughs> oh, interesting, Miss Powers. She just flashed them and ran away. Oh, okay. I thought that what uh, she did, like, blocked her power. Oh, gotcha. I want him dead as much as I want her back alive. What you want is irrelevant. Where are they now? All right. You guys want the same thing, so calm down. Yeah, so Kate Winslet's literally drowning in the North Sea right now. (laughs) FYI. Oh, wow. She's literally Kate Winslet right now. Yes. (laughs) And what if we proven that two people can fit on the raft? Discussion over. Wake up. Wake up. I'll never let go. I'll never let you go. Oh, wow. We really are shipping them. So what they're saying is, if she had heart render powers, then Jack could have stayed alive. Wow. Yeah, exactly. They really said, we will use this entire plot to (laughs) fix the Titanic. (laughs) Titanic fix it fix. Maybe she wasn't abducted. Maybe she was rescued. 
Well, maybe she ran with them. Look, you know your ma talked to her. Yeah, so... She didn't get on with others here. With others or just you? Everyone else liked her, bitch. <laughs> the king's soldiers treated me the same way. Because they knew. They knew that I was more important than any of them. <laughs> maybe it was your charming personality, sweetie. <laughs> used to call on me on times like too soon man too soon i he doesn't remember a girl he's forgotten make it the other way around let yourself relax honestly everyone at your school is extremely hot i would just move on oh shut up You have a pretty distinct power, girl. Go to the woods! Into the woods, you have to go! Into the woods! We'll be safe in the woods! Home before dark! Might have been a bit better to be a prisoner, maybe. Just for a while, till you figured out a plan. <gasps> Never been so happy to see a friendly face. <laughs> He's a tracker. Oh, so gay. So beautiful. So yes. Gale. Very, very, very much so. Go have the body heat and the power to, to help keep you warm. I'm frumpy and I've got a butchin and I'm with the only girl that could save me. <laughs> well, she's right though, dude. You're wearing like. 50 pounds of wet leather and fur. Turn. Nothing you need to hide. You're just a man, like all the others. Oh, girl, you can't say that speech then look at him like that. It's a classic. There was only oh, yeah. one bed trope. Excuse oh, yeah. me, guys. Oh, sir. Where have you been? I've been tracking you ever since you left the palace the night of the fate. So now I have your attention. It's been months, Mal. You couldn't even be bothered to reply to a single one of my letters. I wrote to you. I wrote to you every day. <laughs> 365 letters. I wrote to you. You cheated on the test when we were children. You cut your own hand. Not because I knew I was Grisha, but because I knew what would happen if I somehow passed their test. They would have taken me away. To a palace, Alina. Yeah, you big dummy. I did it for who? Oh, you. <laughs> I've been trying to get back to you this whole time. He has cute little big ears. <laughs> he stole them from my journal. <laughs> He's literally reading her journal, sir. Guy. My guy. <laughs> He's like, did she write about me today or like. We get it, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Ugh, whatever, sure, some, okay, I guess. Some of us are still living in a land of toxicity. <laughs> and, you know, showrunners, you did this to yourself because you know what you did with last episode, so I don't think anyone's innocent here. You found a living saint who can summon the sun. A good magician is a good con artist. The trick to make it look real she's not faking you come on kaz sorry everybody's um getting on my nerves today we get the target or Helene gets the crow club and pekka gets whatever's left wait why would Helene get the crow club because i like love you or whatever it's fine <laughs> did forget about that stipulation in my, in my. Uh. It's good writing. It is good writing. Those... To have tension on all options. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, they're doing the same trope. This guy is. <laughs> Give me a hand.
this show said get you a Grisha girlfriend. Is it me, then? Do I scare you? No. Of course not. Why would you think that? I wish I were scared. I'm you scared of the depth of my feelings. It took me this long to see you, Elena. I see you now. It's like saying all the right things. <laughs> <laughs> want it to happen though i actively still don't ship it i'm sorry <laughs> i'm this way i'm a very loyal shipper <laughs> i mean that's the fun of it anyway isn't it women in fjerda are modest and pious yeah that's why you got one right fjerdan women are caretakers they're venerated and fjerdan men are their protectors that sounds like a recipe for a lot of very unhappy people we are very happy people yeah, you look really happy. <laughs> that is precisely why you will lose the war. Hmm. It's not natural mm. for girls to fight. We have witches on our side, baby. <laughs> Saints, I didn't know you could laugh. <laughs> what? Wasn't that funny, sweetie? Yeah, also... None of this is making me, like, more attracted to him, so I don't know what story we're telling here. Ma'am, get out of there. <laughs> now the drama queen has arrived in town. How many horses does he need to pull that one carriage with him alone in it? Is he kidding me? Does it also need to carry the weight of his ego? <laughs> Rendezvous. So flash. No! Oh! She just light that random on fire? Sure I did. think she was aiming for, you know, but she had a very, like, visceral scream, though. Like, it was affecting. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, somebody did murder her brother. You hang out with Kerrigan too much, buddy. Yeah, come on. <laughs> No one told is, this isn't um what's his name's boyfriend, is it? Did no! You? Oh no! Everybody's on the wrong side. <laughs> Shooting me in the same spot is clever. But ineffective. <laughs> Seems pretty effective. <laughs> Trickster god over here, Jesper. You robbed me of my brother. Now you rob me. Throbs a bit, am I right? What are you? Big softy, apparently. I really should have shot you in the head. Yeah. Right. I do like that we didn't kill him, though. I don't know where he is, though. What is he? Wait until the heel is close by before you pull this out. Or you'll bleed out in 30 seconds. Silly trap. Oops. In that case, I'll take my knife back. Yeah, real good self preservational skills, man. Not great. Where is she? <laughs> it was pretty clear she wasn't interested in being a captive anymore. She's probably halfway to Novia's end by now. Damn, that was embarrassing. <laughs>
<laughs> Not only did I realize that she ran away from me, and also I got my ass handed to me by a muggle. <laughs> It's not safe to stay in the same place for too long. Don't get far if you won't let me treat your wound. What is this eating method we're using here? She's making a paste. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So we're, <laughs> we're, Sweetie, we're, scoop it into your spoon. <laughs> Listen, we're, we're hitting the We're still doing some Hunger Games fan fiction, <laughs> I see. Katniss using mom's healer training to patch up Gale on the road. Ooh. Is nasty looking. We should head north. Find the stag before he does. Why? Why? It's a powerful amplifier. It might make me strong enough to to destroy the fold. Yeah, we have to go on a mission that might put us exactly in the same place as General Kerrigan again. <sighs> Druskel, do not get lost. Oh my god. I never want to go to Driscoll ever. Yeah, they seem like a great time. You're afraid you might start to like me? No. I do like you. Wow, we did this quick. What was that? Yes. Why? Because you are horrible. I love love. <laughs> Hey, Iceman, shouldn't you have noticed that the ground was unstable? Isn't that your big thing? Being from the north? We freedoms can't detect when the ice is shaky when we're being seduced by the glacier. <laughs> That's why none of our women are allowed to fight, because if they were with us, then we would be distracted. <laughs> We would all fall through the ice. That's a pretty nice ride. Yes. Eyes. Indeed it is. <laughs> he is never gonna let you live after you steal his Hello. costume. <laughs> he threw a book at me. <laughs> Stole by no. I know. Please, possible. You don't need to put. Yes, David. Well, Jen, you gave her a ring made of pure iridium, not native to Ravka. So when we get within one mile of her, I can direct us. just been um hit so i'm a bit shaky and traumatized i could eat five more you really developed an appetite didn't you that's new not bad i'm just don't talk about my appetite <laughs> like she ate like 10 berries called down <laughs> The size of blueberries. Like, what was she supposed to get full on three? That's how he's lived for so long. <laughs> Alexander. Who's Alexander? I mean, the Darkling. <laughs> General Kerrigan. <laughs> I made some stupid choices at the little palace. And I mean, he. Well, 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 don't. Oh, me, an explanation. Well played. Very good move, Mal. <laughs> I love how everything that Mal does, Q and I, uh, like, <laughs> award him a good job. <laughs> like, Rebecca, sitting there hoping he'll fail. We're like, uh, that was a brilliantly said statement in response to that confession. Who? For her. Exactly. Some tracker. A, a corporal. <laughs> no ordinary tracker. No ordinary girl. <laughs> you tricked 
surely spends every episode in the back half of this with like unshed tears in his eyes and I just love it as a choice it's incredible look at this grumpy nose <laughs> she's going off to the stair okay well let's think about some positives he knows her so yeah. well because he knew exactly what she would do and she was doing that correct um uh, uh, he misses her terribly, clearly. Um, he does, he, he does. <laughs> you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. We all can't have plot lines where we fall in love with our um, captive uh, uh, megalomaniacs in one uh, five seconds of an episode. You right. know, that doesn't happen for everyone. Right. So, exactly. You know, you know, relationships take time. Yeah. They take work. Maybe Mal will they die. Take- <laughs> <laughs> oh. So sorry to the Mal fans out there. Honestly, I'm just kidding. As, I- I, as I've said many times, he is so much improved in the show over the books. I actually do like it. Yeah. We're yeah. just being silly. I will, I yes, I will say to all the Mal fans out there, you're a better person than me. And I recognize that. <laughs> recognize that I am a bad person. Hello. That I don't ship that. Like, I'm in the wrong here. So if you're a Mal fan, you give yourself a pat on the back. And well done, you, you. And you know that you do not have toxic relationships <laughs> with men. Uh, ask for us. <laughs> <laughs> he was very cute with David. Okay. When David raised his little finger, he thought oh, that was funny. Oh, yeah. He that laughed. I uh, laughed a little. And he didn't um, kill David for letting his coach go, which I thought he was going to do. Yeah. Gross. Also, he really handled Kaz getting away from him very well. I didn't see him blow up anything with shadows. That's true. Good for him. Gold star, Darkling. He's got a plan. He's got a plan. Everyone thinks he's evil, but he's really like out on a mission to correct Mm. his wrongs. He wants the stag and Elena to close the fold like he's been saying. And everyone is just thinking the worst of him and or she changed him. Yeah, that's exactly. You're right. You're exactly He's not evil. (laughs) Correct. I am really in too deep for this not to go my way. <laughs> like, we got a long show on our hands if Mal is really the end game. I will yeah. be grumpy about it for the rest of time. So something better change in that man. Something's got to give. Okay, here's my, here's my thing with the Nina Mateus thing. I'm not a big fan of the... I'm super, super racist, but you one individual are hot trope that doesn't change anything right there are racists of all breeds who have like a one exception you're the good one thing i don't love it i'm um, like i mean listen we're fully shipping the darkling right the 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 villain of the piece so if people are into it it's fine it is fantasy but as a trope, I don't like it. It's not for me. It's not my favorite. And, you know, as someone who reads Dramione, I just have very strict rules about it. Mm-hmm. And this, unfortunately, is a type of trope that breaks that rule. So I was never yeah. going to be into them like that. If you're going to do a relationship with a character like that, there has to have already been a redemption where they don't hate them 
anymore. Yeah. I just think it's an unhealthy relationship. Like you can't be calling me a racial slur about my people and then sleeping with me. Like exactly. I don't care that you're suddenly got a boner for me. Like half of my ancestors um exist because um some slave owner um decided it would be really fun to have sex with their slave. So exactly. um I don't think that relationship really works out well. And like you said, exactly. um this is fantasy and we obviously have problematic ships it just because of my particular um who i am as a person of color um it, it's a trope that doesn't sit well with me like yeah. if you're calling me the n-word i'm never having sex with you that's exactly just, like exactly. it's too hard like it's hard for me to break out of the fantasy there it's exactly if <laughs> if we put this into any like real world parallels it's just no you know I love a, a, an enemies to lovers, but when it comes to someone who has sort of, um, you know, the fantasy equivalent of a, a, a racist extremist group falling in love with one of the people from the group they oppress, it's not for me. Yeah. I understand that it's fantasy and it's fiction, and I, I truly am not going to judge anyone who's into it because, again, we are utter trash. Yeah. Or Dark Lena. Um, yes, we can't, we can't, um, <laughs> we can't emphasize how much it seems like this is um, hypocrisy. But, you know, <laughs> like, and so we're not trying to yuck someone's yum about any of their ships. It just like is a personal preference. Thanks for watching along. I hope you're still having fun. Share your thoughts below. And we will catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Fly away from me. Sarah McLaughlin, what a treasure. Isn't she Canadian? What a treasure for Canada to have someone who can sing so beautifully about sad puppy dogs and sad toys. Let's not forget When She Loved Me, which is a true heartbreaker. Oh, if somebody loved me everything was beautiful. beautiful oh my god that Every is and together lives inside my heart, my heart. oh my god okay. that was what? in the early pixar days before yeah. we were prepared to be ruined in every single movie yeah that ooh, ooh, the destruction and then they really did my girl Jessie dirty with the final film that didn't need to be made. I'm sorry. I think it was a good movie. I just don't think it needed to be made. I will be forever angry about Bo Peep having an outfit change. Okay. Bo Peep is a ceramic lamp. How does she change her clothes? She's ceramic. The girl bossification of Bo Peep. Uh, it was a perfectly fine movie it's just that the third one so perfectly closed it out i this, did not need a fourth. I, and i didn't need new characters what were these new toys nobody yeah. asked for them no new no, toys no and it it just repeated the same beats that the third movie had done so beautifully so just in every way i say no to toy story 4